The Salve Monos was originally funded by the Playa Hermosa Association and um, we do raise money from individuals, we're privately funded, but in 2012 we became part of Salve Monos of Costa Rica which is a non-profit um, association and we're, we're part of that now but we are not funded by them. All the money that we raise here is kept just for our village. We have probably put about 42 bridges around Playa Hermosa, Cacique, uh, Playa Panama. Um, we've got some of the lines changed to insulated cables. And you know, we just continue to work on that on a daily basis. We put the bridges in areas where we know that the monkeys have either been killed or that we think are dangerous. And we know that they're crossing and living in that area and so we install them. They may not use them right away, but we get reports more often all the time about the different areas that they are using the bridges that we put up. And they're smart, you know, they're very close to people. So they, they, they learn quickly and they start to use them. The monkeys are always cruising around looking for food because they're leaf eaters. And in the dry season, when the leaves fall off the trees, it's very dangerous for them because they still need to move around and look for the food, but, you know, they get mixed up and they go on the cables. They don't know the difference. They don't get electrocuted on telephone. We have to try to put crossings in for them so that, you know, they can get to their food without being electrocuted. On Thursday, we we're doing a drumming circle. We did the first drumming circle in 2011, so this will be our third year. Um, we did it. In we began with it in 2011 because we lost 12 monkeys in about 45 days to electrocution, and so I knew about drumming circles, and I thought it would be a really good idea to do one in Playa Hermosa to try to change the energy in our village to make it more positive energy for the.